Today I've got this palindrome Java program that we're gonna build together. Hey, what is up? It's Alex back again, helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make a Java tutorial just like this every single week of the year. So if you're new here and you might be interested in that, then please consider subscribing. Let's start off this palindrome Java program by going to file new Java project. We'll call it like palindromes. Hit finish. On source, go to new class. Call it palindrome. Hit this first check mark and hit finish. We can use, just use a comment here to think about what a palindrome actually is. So for example, we'd have mom or dad or poop or race car, even though there's a space. And another one is like nurses run. Let's first think about the easy cases like mom, dad, and poop where we don't have to worry about spaces. The first thing we have to do is reverse it. And then we have to compare the reverse letter to the actual letter. I actually have a program on how to reverse strings in Java. It's on the screen now if you wanna check that out. But we're just gonna do it again. A string like this, string A equals mom. A string is just a bunch of characters put together. So this is three characters. And a character is called char. So a character variable like B equals M in some quotes. So what we wanna do is grab every single character from the end to the beginning and then store them. So we can do that with a for loop, type for. We're starting at the end, so our int i is equal to the length, so a dot length minus one because index is start at zero. We wanna go while i is greater than or equal to zero, which is the start. And we'll do i minus minus to go backwards. We'll make a new string up here called reverse. And we'll set it equal to blank right now. And we want to build a string from scratch. So what we do is we take reverse and we add to it by saying plus equals the character of our string, which happens to be a. So we'll do a dot char at i. I'll print it out each time so we can see what's going on and I'll explain everything again here in a second. I'll print out reverse. So now you can see the first time we get M and then we get MO and then we get everything together. And it's actually reversed. So I'm just going to change this to like um, A, B, C, D. And now you get whatever's at the end, D, then D, C, backwards. And that's what this for loop does because we start at the very end and then go down one at a time until we hit the very first letter. So now that we have the reverse string, we just have to compare it to the original. I'm just going to rename A to original to make it a little easier to understand. Also delete this print statement. I'll actually make this screen a little less awkward. So now we have A, B, C, D. We want, want to compare it to D, C, B, A. So all we have to do is compare the first letter of reverse to the first letter of original. And if it's not the same, then it's not a palindrome. So we'll assume that it's a palindrome already. And then if we find a not matching character, then we can say it's not a palindrome. So we'll say our Boolean, because Boolean's true or false. And we could say palindrome is equal to true. Now we'll use a for loop to go one letter at a time. So just type four. Start at the beginning now, since we have original and reverse. To start at the beginning of a for loop, you set i equal to zero. And we'll do this while i is less than the original length, because that's the end. We'll say i plus plus, and then curly braces to compare the two strings. Now I'm just gonna take a break and explain what we have so far, because it might look confusing right now. I'm going to print out i in here just to get a better idea of what it's looping through. And again, I'll print out our reverse string here. I'll save it and run it, and let's see what happens. We click the green button button, and then that goes into our main method, which run code inside of this these curly braces. We just have a comment here doesn't change the execution of the program or anything. But we have a string original set to A, B, C, D. 
And we also have a string or verse that's set to nothing right now. Now we see the keyword for, which has an int i equal to the length of the original string minus one, which in this case is one, two, three, four, minus one is three. Three is greater than or equal to zero, so we'll go into this code right here. We're now going to add the original character at three, since i is three, which is here, since index is started zero, the character at zero is A, one is B, two is C, and three is D. So we'll just add that D to the reverse. You know, print out reverse, and that's what we have here. Next, we decrement I, so now I is two. We get the character at index two, add that to reverse, and now we have DC. And we keep going until we get DCB, then DCBA. And that's when we break out of this because i is below zero. Next we come down here, um, looks like we have a Boolean variable which can only be true or false, and that's what palindrome is equal to, it's equal to true. We see another for loop, i is zero, and i is also less than four, which is the original, original, the length is four, so we go in here and we print i. i set to zero, so we print zero. And we go up until three. What we wanna do now is, get the character at zero of the original and compare that to the character zero of the reverse. And if those characters aren't the same, if the character at reverse is not the same character as original, then we can set palindrome to false because it's not a palindrome anymore. So I'm just gonna code what we just said. If the original character, original dot char at, i is not equal to the reverse character, reverse dot character at i. Then let's run the code inside of here. And all we want to do is set palindrome equal to false. And lastly, we can just give a little messages to ourselves. We'll say if palindrome palindrome's true, it'll run this code, and we can print out palindrome, like that. Otherwise, if it's not palindrome, then we can say not a palindrome. I'll save it, and run it, see what happens. We get not a palindrome for this string, A, B, C, D. But let's type mom and see if that's a palindrome. We'll save it, run it, and we get palindrome. But let's try one of these cases right here, like race car. We'll try to set that to race car and see what happens. It says not a palindrome, and I think it's because of these spaces here. You can get rid of spaces in a string in Java by just typing the string. Uh, in this case, it's original, and then a dot, replace. On the left, we'll have the old character, which is a space, and we wanna replace it with a new character, which is just gonna be empty. So it's gonna take all the spaces and then just delete them, pretty much. Turn it into a nothing character. We'll save it and run it again, ah, and it's not working, and that's actually because we can't change a string. That's why they're called immutable. We have to take the result of this and then set that to the string again. So we have to say, original equals the result of replacing spaces with nothing, which is a little confusing, but with strings, that's what we have to do. So now we'll save it and run it, and we'll see palindrome. We'll try nurses run now. That's good. And then we'll throw in like a, a D at the end, save it, and yeah, we get not a palindrome. I hope you liked this palindrome Java tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and share this with a friend if you think it might help them out. It's been really great having you here today, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day, <sighs> palindrome squad.